We have a question for you here. How many apps do you have on your phone? Too many. I have a lot. I don't know. Ones that I don't even use anymore. The more apps you have, the more data you're actually giving away to these companies. Better get Pacaro with some good tips to protect your privacy. Apps are what make our smartphones smart. Now there's more than one and a half million to choose from. But with each new app you download, you may be giving up your personal data to more companies. Don't always, you know, trust the most popular app. Researcher Dan Hastings discovered privacy violations in some of the most downloaded robocall blocking apps. So I found that um, a bunch of these apps were leaking um, personal data to third-party companies. It's a practice that's commonplace among apps in all categories. Details about what data is collected and where it goes are often buried in lengthy privacy policies that consumers rarely read or understand. A recent review of 150 privacy policies in the New York Times found the vast majority were above a college reading level. Even when you understand it, you you don't really have alternatives. A simple first step to data privacy is don't go with the default settings. On many apps, you can limit permissions, such as location tracking or opt out of data gathering altogether. You can also protect your privacy by cleaning out your device. The average smartphone user has 80 apps, but only uses around half of them each month. If it's possible to use the web browser version of that app, you should just do that instead. It may also be a good idea to consider the potential privacy trade-off before you press install. Linda Baccaro, News 4 New York. All right, and you can reach Linda's team. Give her a call, 1-866-NEWS-244. Log on to NBCNewYork.com forward slash get help. Our partner, Telemundo 47, also ready to answer that call in Spanish. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.